in seismic analysis of a building we need to compute the lateral forces on the building due to earthquake there are two commonly used procedures for calculating these lateral forces as per is 1893 part 1 2016 first equivalent static analysis and second dynamic analysis let us try to understand the computation of lateral forces on the building due to earthquake using equivalent static method as per is 1893 part 1 2016 consider a four story rcc frame structure hospital building having floor to floor height equal to 3 meter total dead load and imposed load lumped at the floor is 3000 kN while that on the roof is 2500 kN the building is located in seismic zone 4 and the foundation soil type is hard rock in first step let us find some basic data required for the computation. Firstly, let us find response reduction factor for building system denoted by R. Table 9 of IS 1893 suggests the value of a R for different lateral load registering system. Assume the building in this problem with spatial moment registering frame. Hence, as per table 9, for the RC building with spatial moment registering frame, the value of R is 5. Next, get the value of importance factor I from table 8 of IS code. As the building is to be used as hospital, the importance factor is 1.5. Table 3 of IS1893 gives the values of seismic zone factor z as per the seismic zone here building is located in seismic zone 4 hence the value of z is equal to 0.24 as per table 4 the foundation soil type classified as type 1 for hard rock in second step let us compute the seismic weight W. As per clause 7.4.1, the seismic weight of each floor is its full dead load plus appropriate amount of imposed load. Here, the total value of dead load plus imposed load lumped at floors and roof is already given. Hence, 3000 kN and 2500 kN will be directly used as seismic weight of floors and roofs respectively. The total seismic weight of floors and roof is simple summation of all these values. After summation, the value of a total seismic weight is 11,500 kN. The design lateral force or base shear will be calculated in step number 3. So, let us compute the approximate fundamental natural period of a structure TA. Clause 7.6.2a specifies the expression to calculate this natural period for the bare moment resisting frame building without any masonry field. Section B gives the formulation for building with reinforced concrete structural wall. And for all other remaining buildings, the expression is given in section C. In this problem statement, bare RCC frame without infill walls needs to be considered. Hence, use the section A of this clause. As the building is RCC frame structure, select the expression for RC MRF building. In the expression, the value of H is height of building in meter. After putting values and solving the fundamental natural period TA is equal to 0.484 second. Next, compute the design acceleration coefficient SA by G. For equivalent static analysis method, figure 2A at page number 13 of IS code 
gives three different spectra to calculate SA by G for foundation soil type 1, 2 and 3. The Y axis of this spectra represents SA by G values and the X axis represent natural period TA. To get the SA by G value, select the appropriate spectra for specified foundation soil type. It is type 1. Mark the TA value on X axis and get the corresponding SA by G value. But it is very difficult to get the accurate values using these spectra. Therefore, clause 6.4.2a of IS code gives the expressions as per the range of a natural period TA and soil type to compute the SA by G. Here, TA is equal to 0.484 second which falls under the second range for a rocky or hot soil site that is t is more than 0.4 second but less than 4 second hence the sa by g is equal to 1 by ta after putting value of ta and solving sa by g equals to 2.06 next compute the design horizontal seismic coefficient AH. This can be determined by using the expression specified in clause 6.4.2 of IS code. After substituting all the required values in the expression, we get AH equal to 0.07416. The design lateral force or base shear VB along any direction of a building shall be determined by using the expression given in clause 7.6.1 where AH is design horizontal seismic coefficient and W is total seismic weight of the building. After putting the required values and solving we get VB is equals to 852.84 kN. Let us compute design lateral forces at each floor in step number 4. The design lateral forces or base shear VB shall be distributed along the height of the building and in plan at each floor level. This distribution along the height of the building will be carried out based on the expression given in clause 7.6.3. Let us do the calculations in tabular form to simplify it. Here, floor level is denoted by I in first column of the table. Wi represents seismic weight in kilonewton at ith floor level in second column. Hi denotes the height of ith floor level from the base of a building in third column. The fourth column of the table is for multiplication of Wi with Hi square. The design lateral force at each floor calculated based on clause 7.6.3 is denoted by Qi in fifth column. And cumulative story shear force is represented by Vi in sixth column of the table. The computations will be carried out from top to bottom of the building. So let us start from the roof that is floor level 4. The seismic weight Wi at this level is 2500 kN. The height Hi of the roof level from the base is 12 meter. Now compute the value of Wi into Hi square which is equal to 3,60,000. Next, consider floor level 3. The seismic weight at this level is 3000 kN. The height of the floor level 3 from the base is 9 meter. Compute the value of Wi into Hi square. Similarly, do the computations for floor level 2 and floor level 1. Compute the summation of Wi Hi square values for all the floor levels which is equal to 7,38,000.
Next, let us calculate the design lateral force at each floor in column number 5 in table. Here, QI is equal to VB which is 852.84 into WIHI for fourth floor which is 3,60,000 divided by summation of WIHI square that is 7,38,000. This gives the design lateral force at floor level 4 that is roof equal to 416.02 kN. By repeating the same procedure, the lateral force at floor level 3 is equal to 280.81 kN. Similarly, the lateral force for second and first floor level is computed as 124.8 kN and 31.2 kN respectively. Finally, let us calculate story shear forces. The shear force at a floor level is cumulative summation of design lateral forces up to that floor level. Let us start with floor level 4 that is roof. The story shear is equal to lateral force force at this level which is equal to 416.02 kN. The story shear at third floor level is equal to the summation of lateral forces at fourth and third floor level. This is equal to 696.83 kN. The summation of lateral forces at fourth, third and second floor gives the story shear at second floor level which is equal to 821.63 kN and the story shear at first floor level is the summation of lateral forces at fourth, third, second and first floor level. This is equal to 852.84 kN. Here we can see that the story shear at first floor level is same as the design lateral force or base shear VB. This we can take as a check for the entire calculations. If you like this video then share your thoughts in comment section. Subscribe this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of such interesting videos for visual and simplified learning of various civil engineering topics.